Welcome back to our channel folks. Today it's Saturday the 17th of June, which means it's Pride Day, Pride Night here at Disneyland Paris in the Walt Disney Studios Park. We collected our wristbands earlier on, huge queue outside to get wristbands now. It's about 20 past seven, 8 p.m. start time for the party. Everybody else is leaving, all the normal day guests, because they're not allowed in without a special wristband. Me and Claire have got one. <laughs> hey, we're looking forward to it. Ready for the Pride? I must say there's an awful lot of people leaving the park. Apparently it's not sold out tonight. And to be honest, Disneyland Paris has been very, very quiet all weekend. Quick news flash. We've just been told that even though we have wristbands for tonight and day reservations for the day, we have to leave, like every single person in the park has to leave at 7 p.m. as the park doesn't officially open again until 8 p.m., I think she just said. So everybody has to leave which is just insane. Like normally at Halloween parties, New Year's Eve parties, there's a, there's a time limit where everybody else has to leave and the people that have paid for the after party stay, but not tonight. So yeah, literally, we're all being told to, like nobody's allowed to come, basically come through. All the guys in red tops are telling us we're not allowed. It's weird. <laughs> so, the whole park has to evacuate. So apparently if you have a pink wristband you're allowed to stay in the park but like that the pink wristband apparently is a half day ticket for pride and half day in the park as a normal day guest but even as annual pass holders we're not allowed to stay in the park so why would we be annual pass holders and buy a half day ticket Claire's about to be interviewed for Disney social media along with my castle club. <laughs> yeah, so I think that's going to end up on every Disneyland Paris Pride social media channel. We'll check that one out. Putting the pride spots down for the parade. Let's spot where lounge fly pride is tonight. And backpack as well, lounge fly bag. Uh, this is the parade route. They've marked the spots. Front row seat. That's, that's Tina. Repping the shoe. And there is the shoe. Shoe's cooking over there somewhere. There he is. He heard me. with many LGBTQIA plus uh, associations to bring them the Disney special magic. Please welcome Callum Scott! Woo! I'm very well, I'm very well. I'm so nervous to see so many people are. <laughs> Ready. Yes. On est prêt. On est prêt. All right, everyone. Three, 
two, one, and, and now Disneyland Paris Pride 2023 is officially open! done that was a lot of fun seemed a little bit repetitive but uh, yeah I like seeing some of those some of those rare characters I'm trying to upload it now as a separate video so do go check that one out but yeah great fun Bianca Costa is first up on the stage we don't really know her do, do we? Yeah, we, we we did listen but it's when we'd rather I need to go do crush to be honest. yeah the night is still young looking forward to this Just finished on Crush. You never get the same ride twice because it spins. But yeah, good ride. First time ever for Claire as well. She loved it. Well, there was going on in the experimental area. Can't wait to meet EDF Energy later today. Claire's just queued up for a drink. I'm not actually, I'm not actually sure. Lots of people talking. This is like the Rhino Shield area and uh, EDF Energy. Showing off some of their merch. Oh yeah, she's definitely a diva. Not quite sure what's happening over here, but there looks to be a queue. Something to do with EDF Energy. 
and I was mocking it earlier, but there's actually a queue for it, so there must be something good in there anyway. Let's see if we can peek around the corner. Oh no, it's all dark. Oh, I'm guessing that was what was blacked out. That's the experimental area. Just like a kind of selfie video. Lots of shots available. One shoe at five euros, six shoe is 25, so it looks like we get uh, six for the price of five. I'm sticking with the beer. I'm getting two beers because they're tiny. No. <laughs> Ten beers? Yes, please. Yes, please. No, I'm so glad it's so warm. Do you like this though? Because it's out here that you tried it. Yeah. It's a good beer, it's a good beer. It was like, what was it, five euros for, yeah, a, for like a... Did we get any annual pass discount? No, it's no discount on no. it. Going through Studio One. Wowza, look at Rainbow Road. Loving it, it reminds me of Mario Kart. And Daisy Duck. I thought they were gonna be up there, but no, it looks like the characters tonight are gonna be down here. with the axe. Christoph William is about to start, I believe, in about five minutes, but it should be Callum Scott. So probably about an hour behind. Claire's only gone and got one. Yeah. I, um, see if this is a snack that I actually like, because I get yeah, really disappointed with the snacks. <laughs> oh man, champagne on ice round here. Don't mind if I do. Claire's struggling right now to get the uh, <laughs> the wrapper off. I can't get the wrapper off. It's like welded on. Yeah, to the, it is. To the ice. It doesn't unfold like. It's a... Oh well. <laughs> anyway, have a go. <laughs> Average, average at best. Do you want my little heart? I do like the little heart. I like that. That's probably the best bit. It's all right. <laughs> also, Ian on top of a trash can. So Disney. Oh wow, I love these hoodies. Like light up pride hoodies, amazing. There's Claire, I've lost her again. <laughs> Callum Scott coming up next. I know Claire's super excited about it. <laughs> yeah, Claire was desperately waiting for Callum Scott. Like he's now 90 minutes late. I don't That's think insane. now I'm that desperate. But now we're committed, we're gonna have to watch it now. Yeah, we're committed now. We're in the middle of like 5,000 people. <laughs> so we are committed. If I don't know a song, I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like they're actually packing up the stage. I'm not sure, but hopefully not. So it looks like Callum Scott's not happening. Jennifer's coming on instead. Claire's not happy. Our new friends are not happy. <laughs> yeah, we've waited two hours for Callum Scott. We've all waited for Callum Scott for about for about two hours. Okay, we're, we've got new friends. <laughs> we're going with our new Welsh friends. Callum Scott is not coming on. Uh, Jennifer is about to come on soon. Yay, our Irish friend Stu, Irish Stu, Disneyland Paris tips for the Irish. He's making friends with our Welsh friends. 
Yay, it's a small world after all. So yeah, no Callum Scott tonight. Jennifer's not even on yet. They did advertise her. All my friends are furious. Um, so yeah, everyone's saying that last year's Pride was so much better than this year and it's been so disappointing right now. Web Slingers is down as well. We're gonna try Crush's Coaster again. Do we do single rider or queue up for 30 minutes? Oh, they want an answer off me. Yeah. What? I'm doing important stuff right now. <laughs> I'm gonna plug myself if I'm allowed to. Absolutely, yeah. My YouTube channel is Trioxo. I make videos in Dutch all about theme parks and also Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Disneyland Paris tips for Irish across all media and soon to be in your living room. I'm Literally. I'm Disney Paris Andy. I'm a local. That's it. <laughs> Go follow her, Instagram. So yeah, Jennifer has just started somewhere over there. <laughs> Claire's fuming. She's not in a good mood at all. We're just going over to the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Hopefully we can uh, get in there. Should be open. I know Web Slingers is closed. There's Jennifer. But yeah, in all seriousness, it's not been a good night. It's not been a good party. Bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. <laughs> Oh, Claire waited for me. <laughs> Claire, what do you think about what do you think about the party tonight? Well, I won't really do it again. No, we're not gonna we're not gonna do it again. Definitely, it's not good. Hey, it's a walk on as well. Fantastic. No cameras though. So we're inside the waiting room for Tower of Terror, like the, the boiler room, mm -hmm. but there was no pre-show. <laughs> want to get us in and out, innit? So, yeah, yeah. something else. Basically, they want to get and they want to get us in and out. That's the thing. So yeah, it's been what, what like out of ten so far for the Pride Party. Four. <laughs> if that. Even the cupcake was rubbish. Yeah, it's, it's not been good, guys. We don't like to be negative on this channel, but tonight. It's we, we have to be, yeah. So we had. I mean, the opening ceremony with Callum Scott, by the way, was. So he's here. It it's was. Not it was it's what it was. It's yeah. like him. It was what it was. Then the parade was kind of very, very repetitive. It was like it was on a loop. So, sorry, I think we saw about seven or eight characters max and doing the same song for at least half an hour. We used a different song. But don't have everybody waiting two hours. I two mean, they hours. Could've, they could have brought, like, yeah, brought Jennifer forward and put yeah. him after. They were. Okay, we have to wait. Okay, no problem, no problem. We have to wait. We have to wait. This man, this man says we have to wait. <laughs> <laughs> He's very, very serious. Scary, in fact. He's a very serious man. This one's fun. She, she's more fun. <laughs> she's more fun. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, anyway, it's, it's not been good. Oh my god, Tara Tara, so good. Claire's shouting something out to me. I said it was so good, Tara Tara. No, oh, Claire's saying it was so good. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Anyway, it sounds like the DJ is now on after Jennifer. Uh, and they've played the same song over and over again. I don't know why the DJ wasn't on all night long. That would have made more sense, like in between acts. So it's roughly about 1 a.m. now. The party closes at 2 a.m. The DJ was supposed to be on from about 12 o'clock. So they're well behind. Hopefully we can still meet and greet a couple of characters. I know it's selfie spots, so there's not no uh, like Disney photography here. No use of your photo path. There wasn't much really advertised for this event there was four performers a dj a parade really that was it and the, the meet and greet characters i mean you <laughs> i don't know if we can actually see her or not there we go claire's loving jennifer 2002 winner of the uh, star academy here in france but apparently there's a, vi a video circulating of Callum Scott saying, I will play an acoustic set, no DJ, no live instruments, etc. I'll play acoustic for you. And Disneyland Paris are saying, nope, you're not going on. So I don't know what the issue is there, but a lot of people are upset. Hey, we've got five minutes for Web Slingers. Let's do it, man. Good stuff. Web Slingers. Twitter. There you go. Me, Sleepy Claire, fed up Claire. And there's Buzz. Tell him it's really nice. I'm going to everyone. 
Nick 134 700. Claire's destroyed me. 159,000. Irish shoe. He didn't get 621. That's cheating. Oh, 255. Uh, I don't know what happened. I was kind of winning. Fix. 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 The fix is in. Stuart's inquiry. Yeah, definitely a, a Stuart inquiry. Over. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't stretch. That was the problem. Yeah, but I didn't stretch and I still beat him, so. It's like I beat you at Chris Golf every time. It's just one of them things. I beat you a lot. Claire's just so much better than me. That's... It's true. I'm certain things. It is true. Anyway, it doesn't look like we can meet any characters now. Uh, I think it's like 20 past one. I think the characters have all gone, gone to bed. So basically, the entire night was us waiting for Callum Scott. Yeah. Just saying. See you soon, Prides. Maybe next year. Maybe not. Tara Terra looks sick, but apart from that, off down Rainbow Road. Claire's walking off again. Oh, <laughs> everyone's doing this. Everyone's doing this for the gram. And that's a wrap from Disneyland Paris Prides 2023. Pure, raw, uncensored. Yeah, last year's event was way, way better. Um, this year, very mismanaged, mishandled. The uh, the axe one was good, to be honest with you. The entry and exit systems were just mismanaged. And yeah, last, last year was a much, much, much better event. Better parade, better shows, better actors, better meet and greets. This year, it's just a bit of a lacklustre event. And I hate to say that because I love coming to these events, and, but tonight, just lacklustre. I can only apologize. And if you want a refund, speak to Nick. Here, so this was the first Disneyland Pride event I've ever visited and um, I really set my expectations way too high and I really got disappointed. Even the service at the beginning, I think you covered it already with the uh, wristbands, the yellow ones and the pink ones. So weird, like why would you make a difference in that? Yeah. I think it's just, weird. Yeah. yeah, I think it's just taking money out of people even when people have already bought lots of money for their annual passes um, and then the event itself like there was stuff to do there were meet and greets kind of meet and greets to do but it was just lackluster I've heard the word word before and that's pretty much how to describe this night for me as well as a first timer <laughs> very true very true yeah, yeah. Claire yeah <laughs> what do you reckon tonight well, I'll have to double think to see if I want to come next year. <laughs> it wasn't amazing. The entrance and the organisation was completely insane. There was no logic to it at all. And a, a full crowd of people were just wandering around, not knowing what to do. Yeah. We apparently weren't allowed in until 8 o'clock with our yellow wristbands. Um, but when we came in earlier on, we checked all our passes, annual passes, pride passes and was allowed in and then we got told half an hour later that we had to leave and join the massive queue that was already outside performances a bit disappointing we there could have been more communication with the lack of Callum Scott because we waited there for two hours two hours if yeah. there was an issue technical issue or anything else communication would have been good saying okay so there's an issue with Callum Scott set or whatever bring the next person forward we literally wasted two hours stood doing nothing um, and the other people obviously we don't know and I'm sure like they were great performances like performers we didn't know them and we were waiting for Callum Scott and there was just nothing um, yeah it was okay the parade was alright just at, like for the first five minutes uh, repetitive, like, repetitive. <laughs> change the song we can't listen to the same song for 20 minutes and watch the same people do the same dance with the same um, accessories or whatever there was about six characters the parade wasn't amazing it, it, it wasn't. Overall, sounds like it was pretty disappointing. It was really disappointing. When you, yeah, it, it was just, it, it was just, it, yeah. It yeah, was. it's been, it's been. To be honest, it's been the worst after hours party I've been to at Disneyland Paris. Yeah. Um, it's not a touch on Halloween or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, like, it, it just wasn't. I, I wouldn't want to come again. No. Really, I, I wouldn't have been looking forward to, to coming next year. There's always been like niggly little issues, but like tonight was just poor, in yeah. my opinion anyway. We didn't see the characters because we was waiting for Callum Scott, who didn't arrive. Uh, we kind of picked what we wanted to see and what we wanted to see didn't happen, so we missed out on the extra bits. If we'd have been out of communication, we'd be like, right, this is happening, blah, 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 to go and do some rides or go and meet some characters and come back in like half an hour, an hour, fine. Yeah. But there wasn't anything, just let us stand there for two hours. Yeah. 
So that that's not really acceptable. We wasted no. a lot of the evening stood for so no yeah, reason. Yeah, not good at all. No. Until next time, let's chip.